Now we're working with a hidden room. So we have our design here. Our hidden room is not attached to any of the levels or the other room directly that you can see on this plane, okay? We're gonna talk about more of a three-dimensional. I made my hidden room off of level number four. Hmm, but there's no connection point. It just comes to a dead end here. Think of an attic or think of a basement. This all is level one. The hidden room is getting cut off the paper and moved over and above level four. So the hidden room is above level four for my game. Okay, it may be different for you. So I made a picture of this and let's show you it. Um, here's my level one, two, three, four with room one. And you notice here's my hidden room up above level four. Okay, so I tried to three-dimensionally represent, give you a representation, level one, two, three, four, room one. I cut out the hidden room and put it above level four. So it could be an attic door that we're using to get access to this hidden room. It could be a trap door in the floor if we're talking it's below. Um, the gamer really doesn't realize quite yet. You might have, we're gonna work on doing some animation to show that the person is moving into the hidden room a different way. So we're gonna go through and do that uh, later on. So let's work with this hidden room. Let's go back out, zoom out. All right, so if we take a look at this, we're gonna duplicate the level that it came from. We're gonna call it hidden room. And we're going to do basically the same thing. So I'm going to go back to level four, right click, duplicate. I'm going to call this hidden room. Now this is the area right here I want to keep. I need this as a reference for now. We might get rid of it later, but we want this as a reference for now. So I'm going to use the highlight tool. And I'm going to highlight everything on my screen but a small little bracket. So I'm getting rid of I just leave this small little bracket here. And that's all I'm going to leave. Now I want to add in a border to the hidden room. Hey, look at that. We got to change the color again. Don't let that get away from you. And I'm going to draw in paint bucket this in voila there is my hidden room so I would get access to it from here and here it is on the previous let oh look that even lines up right there the ball sprite lines up on level four and if I click to the hidden room that's exactly what I want I want it to come in from one of the previous levels so uh, that is adding the hidden room onto here and next is going to be how we um, at a hidden room lesson number six next will be lesson number seven we got to create some labels for the levels and we're almost done with all the design work